that dreaded white copy paper again. How do we get rid of it? There are so many ways. And I'm gonna show you how to turn this into this. This beautiful light pink tea dyed paper using only tea, white copy paper, and food coloring. So follow me on into the craft room and I'll show you how I did it. Okay, so here we are in my craft room and I've brought my beautiful pink tea dyed paper. You see all that gorgeousness. I love it. I love just the light, subtle effect. And I'm gonna show you how I got it. I made these to go in this junk journal um, that I'm working on and I'm gonna give you a quick a sneak peek of these printables from Calico Collage. This um, kit is called Pink Grace, and I'm just going to show you some of these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pages that I can't wait to use. But as always, I use the kit as inspiration, and I add a lot of my own elements. And so I thought that pink, light pink tea dyed paper would be amazing to go with it. So here's how I made it. Um, tea. Made some tea. This I just used organic white tea. You can use any tea you want. And, you know, scented tea would be really nice, but I just used some organic white tea because I probably wasn't going to drink it anyway. So I have some in my kettle here and I pour it into a baking sheet. This is just my leftovers, so it's not as much as I usually have, but I'm just going to show you <laughs> one sheet. Then I went and grabbed my food coloring. And this was an experiment for me. I had a pink, let me show you, and I had a red. And I thought that um, I wanted a drop of each just to see kind of how that worked. So I'm sure you can do more drops, you know, just red, just pink to get different effects. But this is exactly how I made that other one. I put I, one drop of red on one side of the pan. And I put, I used a bigger pan um, too, but I don't have a lot of tea right now and one drop of pink on the other side. And that's all I did. So then when I took my white copy paper, which I have here somewhere, found it. Okay. So here's my white paper and my light is not, there we go. Let's try to get a little more light over here. Okay. All right. My light wants to fall over and I'm not sure why. There we go. Okay. So I have a drop of pink on one side, a drop of red on the other side, and then I just, well, that came out even darker than my other one. Yeah. Every, I think every page and every time is always different. So then I take a dry baking pan. Put it in there. So I'm going to show you how every sheet is different. So we're just going to go ahead and soak another sheet here. I would suggest using a little bit of a bigger baking sheet because I can't get the whole sheet into this. But I kind of like the effect and the way the water is running over it. And I think this one's a little darker too because I had less tea. So the dye is going further. So we just experiment. Okay, there we go. And I stack them up. Um, Actually, I had two sheets there. That's cool. I would like to see how that turned out. I think it's two sheets. Yes, it is. So I stack them up usually about four and then before I put them in the oven at 200. And I just check on them every once in a while and they dry out nicely that way. And I actually like it better than doing single sheets because there's a lot of cool transfer. So that's how I do it. And then when it dries, it'll be that really pretty light pink tea color. And it will look like this. It's hard to see the pink on um, the camera, but maybe if I show you the edges. Can you see that? There we go. There's the pink. So I hope that gave you an idea about what to do with your paper and try different colors and all of that.